In our previous lessons, we saw some of the new HTML5 section or contextual tags that you can use to mark a specific section of your content. Those were things like header and footer, and also section and article. Well, for images, we can use another tag just like this, and that's the figure tag. The figure tag is basically used to surround an image or images and set them up as searchable content on your page. Let's try it out on our first image up here at the top. Now, the first thing I want to do is get rid of the alignment that we have on that so we can see how this is going to work. And then let's add our figure tags around the image tag. I'll just make some space here at the top and we'll add a figure tag here. And then we'll go on the other side of the image to bracket it and I'll add a close figure tag. Let's save our changes and we'll go out and take a look. Now we removed the right align from the image so that pulled it off the right side of the page but our image was still included right at the beginning of this paragraph. You'll notice that with the figure tag, it's being blocked as its own separate element. So right off the bat, you can tell that if you wanna use your image in context with the text and float it among the text, you won't wanna use a figure tag because the figure tag is pulling this piece out as a separate piece of information or content. Now there is one additional benefit you can use with figure tags and that is they have a caption. This is really nice because in previous versions of HTML, Images had no caption whatsoever and you had to format it yourself. So let's try out a caption. I'll go back over to my document and the way to add this is to use another tag. It's called the fig caption tag. So what I'm gonna do is go inside my figure block here and below the image and I'll just add a fig caption tag. Now, of course, like every other tag, we're gonna have a close tag for this. And then in between these two tags, I can add whatever title I want. In this case, I'm just gonna use the same text we did for our alt text, a street scene in Chinatown. Let's save our page and see how that looks. I'll go out and refresh the browser, and you can see that our caption was added right down here at the bottom of the image. It doesn't matter where the caption tag appears. For instance, I can grab the fig caption, and I'll cut it out of its original position, and just move it so that it's at the top of the image now. Now notice it's still inside the figure tag, so it'll still be grouped with those. Let's save our document, and we'll refresh the page, and you can see that the caption is now moved to the top of the image. Figure tags are interesting because you can actually load them up with several images. If you've got three or four images that group together in one piece of information, you can just enclose them all inside of a figure tag. However, you'll only get one fig caption for each figure block. Lastly, figure tags aren't just for images alone. You can actually use figure tags for any kind of block of information that sets off to the side. Into it, you could add code examples, possibly video or charts, and of course images, and you can even include some text if that's gonna help out with the figure. The important thing is to make sure that you've identified that content for search engines, just like we have with our header, footer, and section tags.